Welcome to the Big Slice Music Show here on That's TV. I'm your host this evening, Paul Owen. Please get in touch with the show. We've got a great show lined up. We've got the Twisted Dolls on the sofa with us. Hashtag That's TV and at Slice Music Show on Twitter and obviously for the Twisted Dolls. The Twisted Dolls are on the sofa with me. It's a great honour to have you here this evening. We have Jess, vocals and bass. We have Grace on drums. And we have Jackson Wolf himself, lead vocals. And I sing so if we can kind of rewind for the band, because the band are kind of from, we'll say from the four winds, but we have mm. Jess uh, all the way from Brussels. Yeah, so Grace and I, I've been playing for a little while, sort of off and on myself as acoustic kind of Jackson Wolf and then launched the Dolls. And Grace and I started playing together in June last year, played to the end of the year, off and on as a duo. And then we met Jess in January. So we've done maybe six gigs together now and the sound really you know, better than we could have ever hoped for. So, you know, we're really excited about yeah. it. Because you've you just recently released uh, your latest EP with, with two tracks on that, uh, Electrify. Yeah, yeah, well, we, we, we just set out to, we released it as a single, just Electrify, and then, yeah. you know, we didn't want to charge for a CD we want songs, so we put Blues Baker on it. But yeah, we, we recorded that in this room here, in the Spirit Studio. Yeah, I mean, your EP launch went fantastically well. It was packed out at yeah, the castle. Yeah. Uh, you got to be pleased with that, surely. Yeah, yeah, it was wonderful. Um, it's our favourite place to play, and Grace and I had done some of our best shows there um, before we met Jess. And um, we, we'd played slightly bigger venues around Manchester, Grace and I, before that. We, we, we played the Deaf Institute last summer, mm -hmm. and it was great, but um, we just liked the idea of playing a small sort of sweaty rock and roll gig really yeah. where you can where you can see the whites of people's eyes yeah. and then you can you know you literally see how they're responding to every every single part and we couldn't have asked for more really fantastic so this is the twisted dolls this is electrify one by one i won't dance to the dance of the beep beep in the out two by two it's true oh when you see it's running for three
That was, of course, Electrify, what a tune. Bringing your sound together, obviously it's got a two-track EP or single, whichever mm -hmm. way you look at it. How does that influence work in your band? Well, yeah, I mean, as soon as we met Jess, and Jess was the first person that we tried, we had sort of quite a specific uh, audition process, let's say, and so because we wanted the right fit. And then as soon as we started playing, we were really proud of what we, we got together. And Electrify was going down so well live, we were really keen to, as soon as possible, get something down as the yeah. three of us do. So it's, it's the first thing that we've recorded uh, together and uh, and to get it in the, in the way that we have, you know, it, you know, it's really spurring you on and people, we, you know, we, we only released it on Friday, just yeah. so um, well, the 17th of June it was released. Yeah, of course, yeah. Um, we had a limited edition run of, of hand-designed CDs and, you know, people are really responsive, you know, we couldn't really mm -hmm. ask for more, so. I mean, if we come to you, Grace, I mean, it's, it's proper rock and roll music though, isn't it? I mean, at its finest, it you is, know, yeah. and bluesy as well. I mean, I see you on the drums and you're just so energetic and that, I think the crowd responds to that as well though, don't they? People get into it if you're getting into it, like, People really enjoy that and they just sort of connect with it a bit more, I think, if yeah. you're really, really into it. But when I see all you three guys, you gel so well and you've not yeah. been together that long, obviously Grace and yourself a little bit longer, but it must be a good feeling. Do you always have the energy when you're on stage and you're performing? I think so, yeah. With um, since we with with the music that we play, like the, the from the ground up, the emphasis is to is to fill all the sound because there are only three of us. And if your your endeavour is to make sort of a rock and roll sound, which is very full, and you know we're proud that we believe we've achieved that, then yeah. you do have to follow up with the same level of energy as you are committing to the sound. I think. Yeah. So yeah, no, it's true. Should we get our teeth into the next one? Yeah, let's go over it. This yeah. is Blues Breaker by Twisted Dolls.
That was Blues Breaker by Twisted Dolls. Absolute legends, these. We're going to quick cut to a quick ad break. Stay tuned. We'll see you in three minutes. Get the kettle on. Welcome back to the Big Slice Smooth Show here on That's TV. I'm still your host, Paul Wynn. I'm still here, joined by the Twisted Dolls. Great to still have you here. Thank you very much. Jess, you're from Brussels. Uh, you've come here to more or less fully dream with regards to music. How do you find it working with the Twisted Dolls? Well, I love it. I really do. Um, Luke, while you, you guys were talking earlier about the fact that we're having fun on stage and that it's important, it's just yeah. like I'm not trying to. I'm just like having a good time playing with those guys and yeah. playing those songs. So it's quite yeah. easy, really. Yeah. And I mean, I know Brussels to a degree. I don't know French or Flemish. <laughs> Obviously, I've been told this evening. Uh, I mean, what's the music? How does that compare with regards to the music scene in, in Belgium as a whole? Uh, there's a lot of different dynamics in Belgium. What's it like in Brussels compared to Manchester? Obviously, Manchester being a little bit better. Manchester is a bit better, but we're not <laughs> saying it. No, there's loads of great things going on in Brussels too. Yeah. Um, loads of bands, loads of little venues, Unfortunately, they're kind of not getting there now. Some of them are closing with everything happening. But it's still like there's loads of bands trying to get music and trying to get out. But Belgium is such a small country and it's really hard to get out and stuff. So it's it's moving, but not as much as in Manchester, to be honest. There's much more to explore. It's, it's very fluid. There's a lot of people interacting, isn't there? With you know, you see bands like King Cartel and you session yeah. with the King Cartels quite a bit, and you just like you know them things are inside and out because you've been to the gigs yeah. and you enjoy the music. Can you? It's a great community. Are you finding that since you've been in Manchester as well? Yes, yes, for sure. Um, I can see like, well, I'm, I'm new, so I do not know many bands and stuff, but I can see like they keep introducing me, like, oh, that's that guy from that band, and we used to play with them. Like, there's there's lots of connection. Like, I feel like everyone has played with someone else from another band and like yeah. everyone has connection everywhere so it's quite cool it's what I, what I love about Manchester isn't it you know and uh, the, the one big community we've got another song coming up I reckon we don't tease people anymore this is one of my favourites this obviously I love them all but yeah. this is King of the Blues you've got have a favourite yeah. I've got a favourite I won't tell them though yeah. uh, this is King of the Blues this is Twisted Dolls <laughs> Someday 
That was, of course, King of the Blues. That's 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 a dirty blues song. That. Thank you very much. Yeah, I think we're really proud of that one. That was an, uh, an idea, very much so, just before I'd met Grace. I'd had it for a little while, and it was good then. But as soon as Grace kind of lays the the groove that's on there, I think it's what that along with the chorus and and the rhythm, uh, people go away singing that for yeah. you know for the, it's a real accomplishment for us. Oh, know? it's massive. I mean, wh when I look at kind of where you're from, you're from Moston, yeah, in in Manchester. Um, where's all the influences come from? Because Moston's not known for his blues music. Yeah, is it? no, you know? And, uh, it, you know, it's a strange thing. Um, um, yeah. Perhaps one of the most common things people might ask you is. Um, uh, so how do you sound different to bands in Manchester or mm -hmm. something like that? And for us, I don't think we sound particularly Mancunian apart from when you talk. Yeah. Um, is that most of, a lot of my influences come from um, in, in, you know, the early American blues scene. And then that translates more into kind of how Grace and I bonded over sort of like a Led Zeppelin mm -hmm. love. And that is a very big rock and roll sound. And yeah. falling in love with that, you know, it's got a lot of contemporary influences, things like... Uh, the you know Jack White or Queens of the Stone yeah. Age, but I think I hear a song and you know taking a little bit of every single person that you're influenced with and kind of putting it in a pot and then it sounds the way it sounds and, mm -hmm. and we never really force it. Yeah. If a song ends up sounding the way it does, King of the Blues started off as just a melody and turns into that. You kind of just let and it And they breathe. found you in that, yeah, it does kind of life kind of, of its own. Question it, run with it. Yeah. You know, and then you you do end up with something that you know that's really quite special. I mean, you've got a big gig coming up in the summertime, support at the Feel Good Festival, supporting yeah. the Fatellis. Yeah, we're really excited about that. That was um we the three of us hadn't been playing together a uh, tremendously long time and the Revolution ninety six point two put us forward for it. Brilliant. Um Dave Sweetmore there he championed us and we were very grateful for that. So um uh, Grace is from Littleborough, which you know in the Rochdale area. Yeah, of so course, yeah. it won't be far and you know, it's a We've heard from yourself that it is a big stage, and so we're excited to because we think that there's um, enough room for your hair there, definitely. It is. Isn't there? there will be one. And all there. these <laughs> rock and rollers, yeah. So, you know, we'll have just <laughs> enough room to strut around. And I think one of the finest compliments we've had so far is that the songs yeah. have a size to them that would suit. Yeah, it's, bigger stages oh, it's a big as sound. Well. Yeah, yeah. So you yeah. know, we can only hope that it translates to that level. I can't wait for that actually. Yeah. So Warchild's going to be the last one. It's been cramped packed with your tunes yeah, tonight. No, it's been the right treat way. for us, hasn't it? Yeah. So Warchild, a new one. Uh, no, Warchild is the oldest song that we have. It was um, um, as I started out playing as Jackson Wolf acoustic. Um, you gave me my first, second ever show. There you go. Uh, little exclusive there. <laughs> that, that was the first, that was an original acoustic song. Yeah. I played it for you in the Black Dog Ballroom. And then, so this is the oldest, but it, it stays true to everything that the Twisted Dolls is, which is, uh, that you know, thread running through the music. At the root, so yeah. Plants of Six, you'll give them a treat. Yeah, let's go. Let's Sit back and relax. This is War Child by Twisted Dolls. <laughs>
That was War Child by Twisted Dolls. Love that tune. I mean, a few years ago, but it's still as fresh as your new, your, your new stuff, isn't it? Yeah, I think um, they we're thankful that, I mean, what, what Grace and Jess have brought to a song which has maybe been around for a little, um, um, oh, sorry, a longer amount of time. It's just a fresh energy, so each song sounds as new as the yeah. next. Yeah, breathing so. life into it. Yeah, exactly. So if people want to follow you on Twitter, Facebook, what's yeah, the best way so to contact we're you? We're on every platform. Facebook.com slash the Twisted Dolls UK, SoundCloud.com slash the Twisted Dolls and then Spotify, iTunes and uh, drop us a tweet whenever you like. Well, it's been fantastic having you. Jess, Grace and Mr Wolf himself, the Twisted Dolls, please come back again. Good luck for the summer. Thank you very much. And we'll hopefully see you soon. Take care. I've been following. This has been the Big Slice Movie Show. I'll see you soon. Bye.